Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record and extend it to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with the reading. First I will shuffle four times. So the overall energy, it is the Seven of Cups. I think you will have lots of options, uh, lots of uh, good opportunities in love. So you will get lots of attention for the second week of March. Now first, let's see what may have happened in the past. Now, I think it was uh, relatively uh, short connection for some of you this is the first story I'm getting or maybe you had another chance with this person after they may have apologized anyway mostly I see here the energies of a connection that didn't seem quite happy not very fulfilling and someone was not being very much uh, vulnerable expressing feelings or uh, saying sorry because we have the ace of cups and the sun card in the position of the challenge now let's see about the current energies. I see you waiting and you are almost deciding to give up and move away from a connection that was not working. Maybe you have been waiting so long for them to reach out or for the connection to be sold. Now let's see uh, the possible what may be happening in your subconscious that you are not aware of. The fact that it happened so unexpectedly or maybe you didn't expect it to happen uh, so crazy or so fast or to be so devastating. You didn't expect it to have that effect on you emotionally or to see that the connection was not built on solid foundations. Now let's see more details. How do you view the situation? You're becoming a bit hopeless. You don't have much hopes that uh, a successful reunion may happen. For some of you, there may be a long distance as well. That may be another challenge that makes you feel a bit pessimistic. Now, your focus is to be in a connection that uh, provides clarity, is honest, is straightforward, does not have lies. And what you want to avoid is being in the same position of indecision, of not knowing exactly what to do. You want to finally have a clear decision. Maybe it is to find a new, better partner and, no, and not being so stuck in the past. Let's see what is happening uh, with the person that is currently on your mind about this past connection. Something may have been revealed about them that you didn't know before or something may be revealed very soon. Seems like some secrets may come to light about that person. I see them wanting to, they feel sad, very moody, uh, losing interest and wanting to move away from all that sadness and disappointment. So yes, they were affected emotionally by that breakup and divorce, but they want to end this period of sadness and think so much about the past. So they want to move forward and maybe find a new connection. Now let's see, will they take any actions? So I have upright here the Four of Pentacles, so I don't see them doing anything, at least for the second week of March. They will be holding back tightly. They seem moody, sad, and uh, 
not wanting to talk right now. I want to view more about their feelings in the extended. <clears throat> How does your person feel now? How do they view you now? What are their intentions and the energies of the connection? If you want to watch uh, all those details, uh, the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.